Sarah Taylor, welcome back to my studio. Thank you for being here. So today I want to show you a pearl painting and I've been playing with a color that I've just fallen in love with. You've seen it in my last few pieces. It's called Australian Red Violet by Matisse and it's just got a really special quality to it. I can't even put my finger on it. So I'm using that and I mixed also some of the new color art Vivid Intense uh, they have a color called Mars Violet that I absolutely adore, and it's really beautiful with that Australian red violet. So I'm using them as a base coat and alongside a transparent base coat. So I'm kind of going back a little bit, kind of, you know, sometimes this happens as an artist, you kind of get um, going in different directions. And there's times where I just kind of want to like bring it back a little bit and focus on some of the things that didn't quite feel complete or that I just really love doing. And that, that for now is going to mean I'm going to kind of step away from the solvent based paints because, well, for one, uh, the uh, fumes that they put off, I do not love. Um, you have to wear a respirator when you're using them there. And I came in my studio the, the other day and I had that painting, which I love. It was drying on the table and I just didn't even want to be in here. Um, and it was that vitriol solvent paint that was, you know, causing these fumes. So I am going to probably invest in like a HEPA air purifying, like air scrubber, um, for the studio. So that will really help. But I think I would advise if you don't have a really good ventilated space or a studio space that's outside of your home or just a really good solution for air quality, I would not recommend getting too into those paints um, as wonderful and unique as they are. I will probably still use the Pebeo Moon in the Bloom paintings to get that really pretty texture because I really love that and it just takes a little bit, you know, it's not, and I just put a respirator mask on, but to cover a whole big canvas with solvent paint is like, it was a little overwhelming. So anyhow, just working on that and uh, this is just a really pretty little painting I wanted to share with you. And of course, whenever I'm doing small canvases, I'm always kind of searching for the next concept to take onto a large canvas. And I think that I'm gonna be doing that soon too. So uh, thanks for your support, you guys. I, I can't even tell you how much it means. And uh, I'll be in, in April, I will be teaching at Fluid Art Experience in Seattle. I know I've told you this before. I just want to make sure that everybody's aware that could potentially come to this event because it's so much fun um, and just highly educational if you're wanting to, you know, increase your capacity and really stretch your mind and test yourself with fluid art. It's a really, really cool event. So, all right, I'm going to get you on the canvas and much love. Okay, so we're going to go in with the colors here. This first jar um, on this one here, that's my translucent base coat. And I'll put some links below that go into more depth about that recipe and uh, some great ways to use it. And then this in this jar is that Australian red violet and the Mars violet mixture. And I turned it into a base coat uh, by using a satin enamel and then I mix it the same way as my other base coat, just I substitute the white paint with the colored paint. That's a color art pigment called Pineapple Crush. It's one of my favorite yellows. I don't really like yellow that much, but I love that yellow. And then this is Ginger Peach by Color Art. So kind of some bright pops of, of warm colors to go along that violet, it's really pretty. And then this is a Charvin indigo, and I mixed in a little bit of brown, like raw umber, or, or uh, yeah, raw umber, and then a little bit of carbon black from Golden Fluid. And then I wish I could tell you exactly what's in here. <laughs> I think it's um, indigo and then some Golden Fluid turquoise. Um, it's really pretty. I wish I knew. I couldn't remember exactly what it was. And this is Royal Light Blue by Charvin. Another pretty Charvin color. And then I have a couple cloud over paints here. That's um, 24 karat gold. 
This is a, it's an interference gold by Golden Fluid, and then I mixed in some chartreuse, which is also another Charvin color. And then this is a uh, color, color by Decor Metallics called Garnet. And I didn't, I don't think I actually used that, but there it is. And yeah, I'll just get you onto the canvas and put some music on. Um, the, the dried results and everything is at the end. So thanks for being here and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.